Hello, and today it's going to be an Algodoo tutorial. We're going to explain how to use all these tools over here. For the yellow ones, the blue ones, and the green ones. Getting a little more complicated, but I think the yellow ones are pretty complicated. So, for writing out for this one, this is a sketch tool. You just draw um, all this, and then it pretty much draws it. This is kind of cool, because if you draw something like this, it'll guess what you're drawing, and then form into a shape like that. You know, and if you didn't know, you can let go fire objects. You probably knew that. And sometimes this ha I saw this glitch. It just stands on top of each other. Like, what are you doing? But anyway, this is a cut tool. Let me grab an object to cut. Oh, that's going to destroy our perfect pillars of water. But anyway, yeah, you can cut that in half. And then you can drag this half away and drag that half away. Oh, it went back. I, 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 by the way, this tool, since I pulled this tool out, it basically drags anything. You can't drag water, but if you put this down, then it can drag it. And this pretty much is move stuff around. It's like a move tool. It says move, yeah, you can throw an object away. And in this is a scale, so if you have something like this, either you can move it around or you can like make it bigger and, and stuff, you know? And let me see. It kind of, you kind of can make things look weird. Like, what is that? Like, what is this? And this is a, s um, I don't know how to do that. What? It is anyway. It just goes like this, and you can go the other way too. Don't worry about the other way. Uh, oh, accidentally liquefied it. Look, you can oasis water. The, the oasis is one of those tools, but some water sometimes stays behind. Anyway, with the blue tools, you know, you can make some lines, some dots, and all, whatever you want, just by dragging. And that's not all these sides. You can make it, like, really small like this. Or even smaller like this. You can't even see that line. You can make different different sizes. I think from 5 all the way down to point zero twenty. So, a lot of variation here. And this is always silly. Probably know what this one does. It can go up to 5 meters. You can increase it like this you can also kind of cut things in half no oasis whatever you cost and this well this is pretty much the same thing as that first tool we talked about it's a tiny bit different but oh well it's basically the same as the gears you can make the thing and the teeth size so i didn't even notice this before oh you can make huge things i didn't even realize anything about this uh, I don't think I did anything right. You can make the game by putting stuff in the ground, too. And look at how big this thing is compared to it. But anyway, let's erase all of this stuff. So you can move on to the square tool, you know. It makes a big square. You can adjust it. You can do whatever you want. Look at it, too. We're just covering everything in water. Anyway, the circle tool, you know, the same thing but a circle hang and increase the size from very small to very big. Oh, that was a little too big. Bye. So, let's see. This is a plane. You can create an infinite plane and you can make it upside down. So, now it's an upside down thing. It created an infinite plane. Now it's trapping ourselves. That is launched out like a rocket. Does you see that? Oh my, what just happened? Yeah. You can get crazy with these planes. But anyway, let's go back to normal. And this is a rope, you know, so let's see. Uh, we might have to talk about another tool with this, but I'm just going to use this tool. We'll, fi we'll figure out what this is later. And after this tool and this new rope tool, you probably know what it is. It's a rope, you know. Yeah, I, I think I did it in too much. You know, sometimes you just have to get it perfectly. There you go. You know, it's a rope, you know. What does a rope do? <laughs> And you can increase the size and stuff. Let's see. I don't really know, but that's the rope tool. And this is a spring tool. We might have to get the same thing. Oh, and by the way, you have to um, draw the thing that you want to spring. It has a spring to, like normal, you know. Look at it, it's a springy. Oh my. Uh. And this is the fixate tool that we're talking about here. So if you draw, put it on anything, like gravity won't affect it. So let's see. And by the way, this, well, I'll talk about these in a second. But anyway, if this bounces and then you attach this, it, it just stops in midair. 
And you gotta stop pausing and stuff. We'll talk about that later. And this is an axle. This is really important to making cars, so you know, it can it can make things spin. So let me pause this. And then let's see. You don't have to put the axle on, but I'm gonna put it on right for here. Normally I just put to the gravity, I mean, or whatever. So you can hit motor, you can get adjustable speed. This is really fast speed. And then start, start going. Yeah, really fast speed is really fast. It just has to adjust, you know. But anyway, that's that tool. And this is the thruster. Let's get rid of this. You can attach it and increase its speed here. Force, yeah, let's adjust it so I can fly by. <laughs> fly by. But anyway, this is a laser, you know, it can cut. And it also shows you what it, it, the light reflects. Pause right now, see if the light's gonna reflect off of here and go down into the water. And you can also add it on cut mode, let's see. A laser rims, a collision, uh, what is this? I knew it's somewhere here. What is this thing? Let's see. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, it's right there. Get rid of this. Sometimes it attaches. And look at that. <laughs> Oh my, it just shrank it down. Now look at it, like evened it out perfectly almost. That's what lasers do sometimes, you know. That's what they're meant to do. But anyway, you know, all the guys what this is. Actually, you probably can't. I didn't know what it was, so let's see. So, go to the tracer tool. I had a tracer, and look at it, it leaves this little line behind. You know, and we can also adjust the colors of it too. But and it's a texture tool. If you have a texture, you can drag it around. But I don't really have textures. So that's all this explained. And in the next video, I'm gonna explain some more stuff.